What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, Real Life Dia, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video for you guys. As you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail, I'll be doing a wash day routine, an updated one. Um, what you can see right now is me showing you my hair before I start washing it. My hair looked it quite dry because I just took out my feeding braids. In this clip right here, I'll be showing you guys what conditioner and shampoo I'll be using. So I just used soft um, almond and shea butter this time. I have used soft before. I'm probably saying it wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's a pretty good shampoo. And right now, you just see me trying to get a good temperature for the water. I like usually like to wash my hair in um, like lukewarm. So this is me trying to get all of my hair wet, which is quite a difficult task when my hair is like so big and I have so much of it. Usually when I wash my hair, I try to get all of the shampoo all over my head. So I try to um, cover most of my hair as possible when shampooing my hair. As you guys can see, this is a sped up version of me shampooing my hair. I'm just scratching my scalp and getting the soap all around my hair. In this part right here, you can see that I'm already rinsing out my hair. This is because when I do the first layer of shampoo, this is just to get whatever's on the surface of my hair, like whatever's on the outside. So right now, what you see me doing is trying to apply shampoo more closer to my um, scalp. And I'm trying to massage it in there and make sure I'm scratching my scalp as well because my scalp was really, really itchy after taking those braids out. What I was really doing is just parting random parts with my finger and then just laying shampoo within those parts. Also, I do this because my hair is so thick, so I like to make sure I'm getting all of what I need to get. And this is me casually trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> Once again, I am lathering up my hair, putting more shampoo in it, trying to get all of my hair, trying to lather it up and just make sure I'm getting in there. In this clip, I do a lot of scratching is because like I said in the previous clip, um, my hair is really, really itchy. So I always make sure I make sure I scratch all of my scalp before I finish with the second round of washing it. After I finish the second wash, I always go in with a third wash. Now I like to make sure I thoroughly wash my hair when it comes to wash days. Some may think that I'm using too much shampoo, but this shampoo right here lathers up really good. There's always a lot of suds, no matter how much of it you use. During my third wash, I always like to go in with a wide tooth comb or a detangler brush just to get some more detangling done. I have already detangled my hair before I washed it overall, but I always like to go in a third time, well, a second time. Right here, I'm just rinsing out my final wash and in the next clip, you will see me wringing out my hair. Let's get into those curls though. Like, can't tell me nothing, y'all. I'm gonna go in with this conditioner right here. Lather it up real good in my hair. Make sure I don't use too much. Well, it might seem like I'm using too much, but this is like the right amount for my, for the amount of hair that I have. Right here is me posing, quote unquote. <laughs> with the conditioner in my hair. So like I said, let's get into these curls, like fully natural, never had on relaxers, none of that. So 
My curls are always popping once my hair is wet or conditioned. I am just putting my hair into a ponytail so that I can let the um, conditioner sit in my hair. As you can see, I'm putting on a cap. And then what you're going to see next is me putting a plastic bag over that cap. And this is all for the voiceover. I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so I'm back on here without the voiceover. This is me talking to you guys right now. <laughs> and I just finished rinsing out the conditioner out of my hair. It was instructed to stay in for like one to three minutes, which is kind of short compared to the other conditioners I've used in the past. I dried my hair with a 100% cotton t-shirt, which just helps soak up more water and it does not like break off your hair and stuff when you're drying it versus like when you're using a towel or something. So. Yeah, I briskly just use this to dry my hair. What I'm going to do now is put in this Cantu leave-in conditioner cream into my hair, put it all over my hair, and then oil my hair down with some oil, and then start the blow drying process. Unfortunately, I will not be showing you guys the blow drying process because it usually takes me a long, long time, and I don't feel like going through the hassle of recording that. Now, if you guys want a video where I like, you want to see me blow dry my hair, I guess. Follow me on my social media. I'll do stuff like that for my on my Instagram, but not on here just because of the sake of footage and time and storage, etc. etc. So this will be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to comment something, whether it's a compliment, a tip, a trick, you know, just anything. I love reading you guys' comments, but sometimes I am very disappointed when a lot of people watch my videos and they don't comment like it'll be 200 views zero comments and i don't like that but that's besides the point um i'm concluding the video right here um don't forget to follow me on my social medias at real life deal on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye